What's up minions, vlog number 36 and today we're going to finally answer Fred's question or at least taking a, a stab at it and then I'm going to go and apply my answer on JasonHobbsLLC.com so that'll allow me to set up and maintain a funnel with Rainmaker Platform. The idea is that I'm putting together the answer. I'm then going to test the answer by applying it to JasonHobbsLLC.com because let's be honest, my funnel is a sieve like for Jason Hobbs LLC. And it has been for so long as I pivoted, as I taught myself what I needed to. And, you know, I had some customers that kind of, in spite of my effort, <laughs> I was still able to work with. And I've had some that I've worked with for over four years and others for couple, multiple years, um, etc. So the idea is let's put this answer together and then let's test the answer so that we can then iterate the answer to hopefully improve it, right? Or at least to say, hey, if you need to see an example, here's an example. And then my goal is to apply this to different specific industries. Each industry, it doesn't matter what industry you're in, you're still going to want to set up your own marketing funnel. So showing you how and giving you how I would approach each of the different questions so that obviously you know your industry and your business way better than I do. But hopefully by being able to kind of understand, okay, this is how he would approach it. What would I do? You know, would I adopt that? I mean, would it work? Or actually, is he way off base? And he's, I would do it completely different. Like, this is the question I would ask here. This is the call to action text or the message behind the call to action. This is, you know, understanding what's the bait that's going to give them the incentive or what's the educational material that's going to educate them enough to where they're ready to cross the threshold to go from awareness of you into your email. Because that's the second phase of my funnel. I approach it as awareness and then at some point you're going to win their trust enough there that they know, like, and are starting to at least trust you enough to where they're going to sign up their, to your email. This isn't an email on a list. This isn't some number, so to speak. This is a human being. They have decided to engage you further by coming inside of your website. They're going to create their account. Uh, you know, absolutely, that's going to add them to your email. You're going to be able to have an autoresponder sequence that they're expecting based on the call to action and the previous content that they've taken in. They're looking at, okay, here's the one thing that I want out of this email relationship. Right. And then once you have that email relationship started, now it's about educating their decision to either to go with you, ideally. Right.